कप पैटर्न ट्रेडिंग स्ट्रैटी हे गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू एन एक्सक्लूसिवली न्यू वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल ट्रेडिंग फाइव एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट अनादर चार्ट पैटर्न विच इज कॉल्ड एज दी कप बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस वीडियो लेट मी टेल यू दैट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई हैव नॉट अपलोडेड वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल एंड आई हाईली अपोलोजाइज फॉर दैट बट आई अश्योर यू दैट आई विल ट्राई टू अपलोड वन और टू वीडियोज एट लीस्ट अ वीक All right so today we are going to understand about the cup pattern that is how this cup pattern is formed on the chart how to identify it how can you take a trade where to buy where to sell where to place the stop loss and most importantly how can you identify between a strong cup and a weak cup you will get to understand this along with live examples in this video so this video is going to be highly informative for a trader and if you don't want to miss it make sure that you are watching this video till the end do not skip it and one more thing If you are new to this channel or not yet subscribed to this channel make sure that you do it so that you won't miss any upcoming videos or updates on the stock market and technical analysis all right so let's start understanding about the cup pattern and as you can see on the screen that is how a cup pattern looks like on the chart there is a breakout line which is also called as the resolution line and that is where you get the cup and along with this pattern we also get another structure which is called as the handle and sometimes the cup pattern is also called as the cup and handle pattern and this pattern is named in such a way because it represents a real cup you can make out by looking at the chart that this pattern is highly similar to the cup that we use and you know the occurrence of handle along with the cup pattern is highly occasional that means you may get a cup pattern along with a handle or sometimes without a handle you will understand this further in the video so let us see how this cup pattern is actually formed in the market You see the breakout line is called as the resolution point of the pattern and when the first time the price reaches the resolution point it is not able to cross it because there are high number of sellers in that stock you see at this point there is high selling pressure as compared to the buying so it is obvious that the market will not go bullish but instead it will go in a downtrend and this is what happens in this pattern the price goes in a downtrend followed by a consolidation but when the next time the price comes near the resolution point the number of buyers in the stock are much greater than the sellers so eventually the sellers are not able to push the price downwards and as a result of high buying pressure the price gives a breakout from the resolution point and that is why sometimes we get a handle along with a cup pattern and if you observe this pattern it indicates as a change in the trend that is the sideways trend or consolidation is converted to the uptrend and when we get such occurrence of pattern on the chart we must look for buying opportunities So you see the candle which gives a breakout is called as the signal candle or the alert candle. When this signal candle is formed in cup pattern or maybe any pattern, that is the time when you have to keep an eye on the stock. That is the stock must be in your watch list. You must be tracking that stock for trading opportunities. And we will look for buying the stock at the closing of the next candle. That is if the candle is a good bullish candle and the breakout doesn't turns out to be a false breakout, we will buy the stock. and we will place a stop loss below the signal candle so in case if we go wrong that means the pattern fails we will exit with a very small loss but against that we can make a high percentage of return on this stock but before trading on this pattern let me give you some pro advice so if you are looking for catching a good move in the market or making huge return on your investment avoid trading on cup which are formed on less than daily time frame like you know the cup pattern can be formed on monthly weekly or daily as well as hourly or 15 minute time frame but if you want to catch a strong uptrend avoid trading on curve which are formed on less than one day time frame look for trading on the patterns which are formed on daily weekly or monthly especially on the weekly and monthly time frame and the second thing is that longer the curve stronger will be the trend so it is like you can find curve pattern which are one year long two year long or five or 10 years long but trading on this pattern is mostly preferred on long curves Let me show you with some example. Now as you can see on the screen this is the weekly chart of REC stock. And as you can see this was some 6 year cup. That means the stock was in this pattern for almost 6 years. And that is where you see the price gives a breakout at some 170 or 180. And when I am running this video this stock is running at approximately 414. So this is more than double return on your investment. And that is in some span of 4 to 5 months and that is what I call as the power of this cup pattern. it is a very strong pattern and used by most of the traders in the market let us see another example and this is the monthly chart of jindal saw and this is like you see almost a 5 year cup and after a breakout near 200 the stock is now running at 416 which is again almost double the investment another example which we have is the monthly chart of dlf 
and if you observe carefully this is like a 13 year cup yes this pattern is being formed for almost 13 years and after a breakout it is giving good returns to the traders and investors but if you are trading on cup pattern or any pattern or maybe any strategy remember that you have to take the trade with proper risk and mindset management because there can be chances that after a breakout the price may again go down below the resolution point which gives us a false breakout so using a stop loss while trading is really important trading or investing without risk management can make you suffer a big loss all right so i hope you understand this pattern which i have explained in this video if not you can watch it again and after watching this video you can find the stock with such patterns and start trading on your dmat account and if you don't have a dmat account there are many leading brokers in the market and one of them is upstocks from where you can open your dmat account and start trading in the market so lastly thank you for watching this video till the end if you found this video really helpful for your trading make sure that you like it share it to as many traders as you know so that they can even get this knowledge and subscribe to my channel to not miss any videos on stock market technical analysis and trading all right so i will see you in the next video